Welcome to Garkos Church. Just wanted to do a little video to give you an idea of what you might expect if you are planning to attend this Sunday on, at 11 o'clock and indeed fortnightly uh, will be on at 11 o'clock for the next little while at least. We anticipate that you will be arriving here at the gates. Uh, please don't go across to the white doors, the link unit, uh, which you see over there behind me, uh, as we're beginning operating a one-way system. So you'll come down the path. Also, please don't go in the blue door, the vestry door, uh, as that will only be for uh, emergencies uh, and for uh, those who might be taken ill during the service. Come down the path. Now, you might be arriving at the same time as a few other folk, and so please uh, maintain uh, the two metre distancing, even outdoors, as you come down the path. We then come to our main door, and all of this might be pretty much as normal, but when you come in, there will be uh, visitors, uh, volunteers rather, uh, welcoming you in. There will be an opportunity to put your offering in the, the offering pedestal. That might be out a little bit further. There's a hand sanitizer point here. If you have forgotten your mask, uh, there will be a few masks available for you as well. And I better put mine on. Now, uh, as we come in, there is a further opportunity to use hand sanitizer. This one's the high tech one that uh, operates and it's all um, touch free. And then uh, the desk will be staffed, probably uh, by uh, Valerie, but uh, Ellen is there just now. And hopefully you've booked ahead with Valerie and uh, she'll maybe have a note of your contact details. But if not, you can record your contact details for test and protect. Then one of our volunteers will lead you, it's going to be Ellen out this time, will lead you to your seat. Unfortunately, uh, we can't get you to sit just anywhere you want or in the place nearest to your usual, so you will be taken to a particular seat. Now, as you see, most of the seats are in twos and threes. Uh, you can only sit with a two or a three if you are in your own household group or indeed extended household, sometimes called bubble. Please do remain in your seat during the service. The church will fill from front to back. I will, of course, be up front leading from here. You can see the techno gubbins, although I'll try and tidy it up a bit, uh, the wires and so on, because I'll still want to do an online service. And we will worship uh, together, even though we're perhaps not able to sing. We'll still uh, have Tommy. We'll still be able to use music. And the service will be shorter. It won't have the opportunity for children to go out, though children are most welcome. Uh, do feel free to bring your own set of pens and we'll try and provide some colouring or other activities related to the service. At the close of the service, again, please remain in your seats. And this time you'll be leaving out the connecting door uh, through the link unit. Again, we'll ask those at the nearest the door first to go out and volunteers will encourage you with that. If you've missed the offering plate on the way in, there will be an opportunity uh, next to the hand sanitizer, so a bit darker in here, for, to give your offering on the way out. And of course you can go out and down the steps. If you have mobility issues, don't worry. Please remain in your seat in the church. And uh, once everyone else has come out that way, you'll be able to use the level access uh, on the way out. Again, just please follow the directions of our volunteer stewards as you do so. Everything is going to be a bit different and uh, will take a little bit while to get used to it, but many of the measures are similar to those that you might have found in shops and other places. So I hope this is helpful and gives you some confidence that we have followed all our church and government guidelines to ensure your safety and that we can still operate. Please do stay at home if you have uh, symptoms and follow the usual guidance on that. But if you were to take ill in the church, we have uh, Eleanor this week and other volunteers will be on duty. So if you take ill, the idea is you would go straight over to what's normally the vestry door and through into the session house. And Eleanor or whoever's on duty 
will follow you out. We'll have a PPE available. We'll be able to assess how you, uh, you are and what the next stage is. But if you go out, unfortunately, you can't come back in. The other thing is, is uh, ideally to avoid uh, use of the toilets, but should you need toilets, you can go out the link unit door and into the hall, and it's just a case of one person at a time in the toilet. So hopefully there won't be a big queue for that, but as ever, if there were, then two metre distancing should be observed. I don't think I've missed uh, too many things, but there will be uh, notices up on the screens uh, and as you come in, and you can always ask any questions if you're struggling. Thanks very much, and we look forward to seeing you. And don't forget that we will be online if you prefer to engage in that way. God bless.